Hi, welcome to Hikate's Crossing. I want to show you my tarot and oracle collection that I've so far uh, managed to sort of get to replace the stuff that disappeared. But anyway, so starting with, I'm sort of doing them in sort of categories, um, how I want to read them like, and I like to read my cards like that go together. So I'm starting with the Higher Love Soul Link Oracle cards. You can sort of see if you can see those there not really it's pretty bad with the light and stuff so I don't know whether if I actually let's see if I what will happen if I actually do that and let's put this down wrong way I might have to um, turn off some lights. Hopefully this will work. Try that. Oops. Um, right there. Anyway, that one is. Um, Leave past behind. Crisis and disappointment. Which is the best way to do this? So, I might move that candle because it's heating up the the. Um, there we go. Hmm. If I sit in the right place, you might be able to see some of the cards. So basically, you can see that these are just words. I'm not going to go through them completely. So that's the um higher love soul link oracle cards it's those ones there okay that's the backing um the next card um the tarot deck that i like to use with those ones is the mother peace tarot and you'll see more of those with the walkthrough that's coming up for those and i'll be posting a little bit of these on instagram as well this is just the little mini deck. So there we are. So we've got the highest love soul link cards with the mother piece um, tarot. Okay, that's those together. And I want to do the divine feminine as well, which I love. Which you might have seen the unboxing of those. This is the and I've got um, Keepers of the Light Oracle. So those ones there as well. And also with those, I like to um, do the Chinese Oracle because they are yin and yang energies the receptive and the active so those as well which are quite cool so basically in this category together we've got the higher self um, the higher love Soul Link cards, Mother Peace Tarot, Keepers of the Gold, Keepers of the Light, Divine Feminine, and the Chinese Oracle Yin and Yang. So that's all together as one. So let's put those all away now. So they sort of move as one. It's quite cool. 
school. So those sort of cards that I would sort of use together in a rather large reading and we'd most probably split them up depending on sort of how many cards the client wants, you know, what's the question, you know, if it's very, um, I find this, these, these cards work really well with a sort of a loving energy. So if someone's, or someone's asking about a relationship, I find these cards here work really, really well for that. So that's that category. Together. Okay. Next one will be the. Um, now some of these categories you'll see will um, cross over. So let's do all these together. So we've got like the Chinese oracle. Okay. And then we've got the spirit animal deck. It's quite cool. Okay, so you've got your Chinese oracle, the um, animal spirit working together. We've got the animal tarot, which I haven't worked with yet, which I want to work with when I do these animal readings. Together, so they will all sort of work together. Just feel like we need a bit more light or something. Something's not quite right in here, is there? Try that. How does that feel? Oh, that's better, isn't it? So yeah, the animal spirit, uh, the animal wisdom tarot, which I want to get into, the animal spirit oracle, the Chinese yin and yang energies work really, really well. We've got the tarot familiar, Lisa Parker's deck, and the creature teachers cards. So again, you've got those sort of all sort of animalish decks sort of working together. So, yeah, so Creech Teacher and Lisa Parker's Tarot Familiar. And then for another part of the reading with the, um, depending on how many cards, the, of course, the client wants, how, you know, what sort of reading that they want, can include the Chinese Yin and Yang cards. Is cool. Chinese Yang and Yang. The animal spirit cards. And of course, the animal wisdom tarot. So that's the animal decks. Then you've sort of got like the Native American. So let's do um, Native American Tarot. So this category here will be the Native American, which you'll see me working on quite a lot this month with the journey, uh, the Fool's Journey Challenge. Then I've got the Shamanic Medicine cards, which you'll see me working with as well. And with this reading, I'll use the Animal Spirit Oracle cards as well. Even though these have got animals from all over. 
I'll include that as well. So they look really cool together in a reading. So with the um, Animal Spirit, Native American, and the Shamanic Medicine cards, really cool sort of energy. They sort of go together really well. So that's that set. Next, I quite like together, which I haven't started working with yet. What I will do will be the dragon tarot, and you'll see you will have seen the walk through on that one today, Tuesday. And the Dragon Oracle as well. Dragon Tarot, Dragon Oracle. So those two decks will go together. For a reading. Dragony. And then we've got sort of like all the crystal decks. And the, butter, the chakra. Oops. And I quite like these crystal decks so we've got the crystal grid oracle which you will have seen the crystal healing and crystal oracle deck and you've got um, no, Asia, Asia, Asians, um, crystal alley cards so you would have seen the walk through with that or the unboxing really cool deck so They'll all sort of all go together as well. And I've got the um, Butterfly Guiding Light Oracle by by Sue Nicholson, which I want to do. A walk. I've done a few readings and that with those. You would have seen these, this deck as well. And what I like to do with this lot is if I'm going to do a tarot deck with it, I'll use the Starman Tarot with it. I think they just look really amazing because of the colours are so bright. I mean, let's have a look. Let me show you. So you can see them there. Just do that. I mean, you can see. Sort of see the cards there. And the tarot as well. So you can see on um, the crystal oracle as well. So you can see Starman Tarot with the Crystal Alley cards, crist um, Crystal Grid Oracle. Butterfly Guiding Light and the Crystal Oracle by um, Tony Carmen Solano. The Crystal Grid Oracle is by Nicola McDosh. Crystal Alley Cards, Nyasha Ishian. Starman Tarot, David DeAngelis. Um, Butterfly Guiding Light by Sue Nicholson. So you can see these look amazing together. What did I just chuck out the lid? So yeah, so that's that crystal set. And I think the Starman Tarot, because of its colour and its vibrancy, and that sort of electrifying art, I think that's really, they look really amazing together. So they're really good for working with crystals and chakras and colours. They sort of work really, really well together. So that's what I'm going to do there. So that's that one as well. I like to sort of put everything away as we go, otherwise everything gets in such a mess. And I'm sort of putting everything back in its... So I'll give you an idea of basically how I work. Okay, so that's most... Oh, I've just got the crystal ones to do in here. Okay, so just then 
the Angel decks I've got at the moment is um, Radley Valentine's Angel Tarot, which I love. And I use a lot of the shadow aspects with this deck. I can get quite, I like, like um, looking at the shadow self with this deck. So I quite like that for an Angel deck, Angel Tarot. And then the Angel Reading Cards by Debbie Malone. Use those as well. Notice they're sort of getting a bit chipped. But they are gorgeous. And, I, and I'm not harsh on them. I just try and, you know, just normal shuffling. I don't do ripple shuffle or anything like that. So that's the Angel Deck. Angel Tarot by Radley Valentine. Angel Reading Cards by Debbie Malone. That's my Angel Reading Cards at the moment. Tarot and Oracle. And I may get some other um, Angel Decks at some stage, but I'm not that hugely worried because I sort of... Angel Intuitive, it's sort of, these are just tools to open up, to use to work with the angels. I do want to get Stuart Pierce's decks too at some stage, but other things coming first. <laughs> A few other decks to come yep. Okay, so that's basically the ones that are in sets. Then the other decks I've got, of course, is Serafina's um, Modern Tarot. And I can use that with any oracle deck to sort of very quick, short messages. So I think those are really cool. You can see the very, some very, very cool deck. And you can go online um, on YouTube and you can see um, Serafina's lessons, teaches you how to use the cards and her bags that she sells, of course. So Serafina Modern Tarot is really cool. And then you've got um, Lisa Williams' Intuitive Soul Oracle. This is the deck that I find goes with um, a lot of the different tarot decks that I've got. It's just gorgeous, just really gentle. But again, everything's got a shadow, um, shadow self, so it doesn't all have to be all positive or light, even though they're sort of the lightest deck. I just think they're gorgeous. So Intuitive Soul Oracle. And that um, we've got, okay, let's have a look. We've got the Fairy Lights Tarot, okay, we've got Epic. Now this one here, Epic Tarot, I find can work with the Dragon um, Oracle as well, really well. It's quite cool. And this is the Circle of Life tarot. So you can sort of see. I mean, you can get, I mean, I'll do, I've done walkthroughs and I've done looks. So you can go through and have a look. This is just a real quick skizzy at the decks that I do have at the moment. And that, um, just to show you the decks that I do have and there will be other decks coming which I haven't which can't show you just yet of course but they haven't arrived <laughs> so there we are that's fairy lights tarot epic tarot circle of life tarot with the intuitive soul oracle cards they can all sort of work together which is quite good okay and then I've got got the um, Tarot de Marseille of course which you'll have seen me do readings for readings with I mean and then the other tarot deck which was just this is such a mixture between um, Thoth, Thoth, um, Rider Waite Smith and Tarot de Marseille they really it's a real mixed up deck you will have seen this on other people's sites it came in a kit with a little with a, with a hardcover book um, there are other decks, other backs to different people have different um, backs to them, depending on the kit 
that came with it. So there's another little sort of mixture between um, Rider Waite Smith and Tarot de Marseille and cloth. So that's quite a mixed sort of deck. And then the Tarot de Marseille with bows there. Okay. So then I've got the Pagan Linen Mart, and I'm just waiting for um, another couple of decks to arrive. So we've got that there. So you'll see with the Pagan Linen Mart, they have like people at the bottom of some of the cards showing you. There's extra male and female in these. You'll see there's four, two males, two females in the cards. There. So they're, I mean, they're really simple to use, of course, linen mount. There's not much difference between, I mean, they're all the same concept, depending on what school of thought you you use, of course. So pagan linen mount, quite cool. Um, and then the other deck I've got, which I'm still waiting for, um, a Maori Oracle deck um, to come through, and I'll and a couple of others which I'll order at some stage but just not yet. I'm just waiting for the Māori Oracle to come through because I've ordered that. And then we've got the New Zealand Naturally which is the New Zealand Animals. Um, and there's waves, peaks, um, trees and coins. So, and then of course the Major Akana as well. So trees as wands, um, waves as cups, peaks are... Um, swords and then coins of discs or pentacles so yeah so those are quite cool too so you've got the new zealand naturally tarot and i'm just waiting for the um, new zealand maori oracle so and then i'll put those to, they'll look quite cool together i've got muriel coming through and um another deck and um Got a few other decks that I'll put on order at some stage, won't be far away. Now this is a little affirmation deck. Um, I don't know if you can see those through there. Um, there. So that's they're quite long. They're quite good little affirmation decks. Choose one and read through it and see the affirmation. So those are quite cool. Another deck. And then the last one, which is quite neat, is the Shinjutsu. Shinjutsu, which are cards that show you um, points on the body, the locks, safety locks, how to open up. And they've got a little affirmation on the bottom as well, which looks quite cool. So they're a real healing, looking at the body, mind, and spirit connection. Cards, so those are quite neat. Oops, not very good, am I? So yeah, just to show you really, really quick. This is a really quick look at my collection. Um, I'll most probably at some stage when the days are a bit better and the lights better, you'll be able to see or you can see some of the walkthroughs that I've done. Um, the other thing I've got basically is crystals. Do like crystal casting, and then I've got. I do want to get a couple of crystal kits at some stage, and then I've got some um, runes, of course, which I've sort of been starting, sort of working through, which are quite neat with the rune and gold. Don't know if you can see, see that, but anyway. Runes, lapis lazuli runes. Quite cool. Cross side light. Quite runes. Anyway, this is a video. And then I've just got playing cards. I want to order some specialty playing cards, but in the meantime, I've just got like this sort of. So you can sort of 
be. So they're little poker sets which are quite cool. And they're just normal playing cards really and I've just made um, Sibylla and stuff like that. You won't be able to see much on there. So yeah, just a playing card set. Just normal playing cards. Not very fancy. Oh, here's the, um, I made like a gypsy. Which one? Oops. Made these myself. I mean, they're not perfect, but they're sort of fun. Oops. It's my gypsy witch. Oracle. So that's just me mucking around for them. You know, these are sort of things you can do with some a playing card, you know, just an, just a cheap playing card set. I do want to get some decent playing cards, but these are just New Zealand normal playing cards. So I could add that to my um you know, just for just to do a playing card, but because it's got the New Zealand backing to it, I could do that as a new you know, as part of my New Zealand playing cards that's quite cool and then there's this one here as well just this backing to show you. just normal playing cards it's actually quite different because the queen actually sort of like an Arab sort of oops there I only just noticed that. I haven't used these very much. I was mainly using the... So these are more like an Arab... Um, all about which way is he facing, what's he, you know, what's his face expression, she's got her face covered. age of the guy maybe Oops. so anyway yeah so there's just a few playing card sets as well and I have made um, using playing card sets I have made a um, angel deck crystal deck I mean a few other bits and pieces when I was mucking around just for fun so there you are that is my collection of tarot oracle decks and other divination tools as you can see take care and blessed be